Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my weekly makeup basket, which is spread all over my desk right now. It's apparently a lot of stuff, so let's just get started. Uh, first off, I have a bunch of samples that I stuck in here because I have a lot of samples, apparently. I'm actually wearing a lighter shade of this right now. I have the Buxom Show Some Skin in Fair Game. I'm wearing the Ivory version of this right now, and it mostly melted off in the sun, admittedly. I have the, Lumin the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Santa Fe. I hope that will match me. I have the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation in Light 48. I normally wear a Light 46, so I think this will be at least okay. I have two primers, or one that will work as a primer and the other one is a primer. The L'Oreal Youth Code Pore Banisher. I have used this before and it's fine. Another I've used before that I like is the Clinique Super Primer Universal Face Base. Sounds like I'm trying to sing Ace of Base. Um, I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder in the shade Dark Brown. I don't know if this is going to work for my brows, but I'm try going to try it because I do really like this formula. Uh, I know it's a lot of stuff. I have a sample of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzers in Milk chocolate and dark chocolate so i'm going to try those out and see how they work for me well i know the chocolate one works fine but the other two i have never tried and finally i have the naked or the urban decay naked flushed palette sampler this one is in streak so i'm curious to see how that will work for me and now on to actual products i have two other foundation-y products I have the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream in light that I use in days that I don't go out. And the days that I do go out, I am using the Neutrogena Nourishing Longwear Makeup that is actually in my Finish 5x Fall, which I think I have to film an update for tomorrow now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's see. Uh, concealers. I have three. I think I have three. I do. I have the same ones that I always use because they are what I have. I have the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in 003 Light Medium. I have the ELF HD Lifting Concealer in the color Fair. And this is almost dead. I give this another two weeks, maybe a month. Another thing that I only give another two weeks to a month is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. As you can see, it is just about dead. That thing only lasts about two months, so I'm not sure. Is, is that nice as a concealer as it is? I'm not sure if it's worth the investment because you burn through the damn thing. And in the effort to make these a little more interesting, I have decided to start switching out some products. One thing that I switched out was my powder. I was using the Revlon Nearly Naked powder that I was almost done with, but still had a way to go. This is the Essence All About Matte Powder that you can get at Ulta if you're in the States. Here it is right here, just a matte white powder that has been keeping me pretty matte. Today's the first day that I've used it, and it's been keeping me pretty matte, which is nice. Whew, um, I guess I'll do blush and bronzer next. I still have my same old Tarte Flushed Cheek Stain. I have my Tarte The Sculptor Stick for contouring. And for my um, highlights, that's the word, highlights. I have my Buxom Luminizer in Divine Goddess, which I have been given the nice advice from Cherish, or Pretty Pistol 86, you guys might know her as, uh, to mix this in with some lotion to see if it'll go a little faster, which would be awesome. I just hope it doesn't tingle everywhere it touches. And I also have the Be A Bombshell Stick in Girl Crush that I am trying to finish off for the 12 Empties of Christmas. I have a lot of projects going on. And powder cheek products, this is another thing that I was able to switch out. I have the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Blush in the color Pink Rose. And I am wearing it today, and this is one that I should have been more careful with today because I'm a little over blushed. At least I think so. Sorry that I have swatches on my hand right now, a bunch of swatches on my hand. I just did my Ipsy bag. But this is the blush right here but you don't need a highlight with this, or a powder highlight, I guess, because it covers that on its own. 
And for warming up bronzers, I actually have two products because one came in my Ipsy bag. I have the Surf's Up Aerial Bronzer from e.l.f. that I'm trying to finish up. And I got the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer from e.l.f. That is actually a swatch of it right there because, like I said, I just did my um, Ipsy video, so I do have all the swatches of things. Hmm. Let's go to eyes next. Let's see. Of course, I have my Lorac Pro palette. No shock there. And because I like to try to keep myself sane and trying to finish that up, I also mix in other palettes this time. I have the Too Faced Smoky Eye palette that I got as part of my tax haul that I will try to remember to leak below. And here are the shades right here. I got this off of Amazon because I don't believe Tarte sells these palettes anymore, which is unfortunate because they're really nice. I mean, this is one that definitely lends itself to a smoky eye, obviously, hence the name. But I think I can mix a couple of these colors in with my Lorac Pro and have some fun with it. And because I don't have a cream color in my Lorac Pro anymore, I do also have this Canyon Classics from Physician Formula. I used the cream shade up there. Ipsy sent me an eyeshadow slash highlight, but never gonna be a highlight on me, it's way too dark. This is the Ofra eyeshadow slash highlighter in Bliss. Totally dropped it on my Ipsy video because I'm spaz. And this is why it will never be a highlighter because that is it. I could pro, if it wasn't super shimmery, I could probably use that as a bronzer, honestly. Oh, and of course, as always, I have my NARS in Outer Limits, in case you've never seen that before in my makeup videos, because I love this thing. I use it to add a bunch of glitter to my eyes some days, because I like glitter. I do have two single eyeshadows as well, because I obviously don't have enough in here already. I have my NYX a Prismatic Eyeshadow in Jaded. And I have a ColourPop shadow that I got recently. This is a super, super shock shadow in Shameless. I'm honestly not terribly impressed with the ColourPop formula. I am wearing one today and it has already faded a crap ton, but whatever. Uh, bait, not base, but primer, one of the things that I can switch out. I've switched out the to the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. Sorry, had a hair on me. This is it right here. It's just a doe foot applicator. And I have three bases in here. I have the two that I'm trying to finish for 2015. I, they were in other projects, but I didn't finish them for those. So this is the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in eternal white. I did sharpen it recently, so that's always awesome. And I have the Maybelline color tattoo in bold gold. I am actually trying to work on this edge right here and clear that out. So because these are no longer in uh, seasonal projects or project pans, this is where I show their progress. And another thing I threw in because I wound up really liking this with a look that I did last week with my Lorac Pro, I threw in another purple color tattoo in Vintage Plum. This is one that Juicy Fashion 11 sent me actually. A little bit streaky, but I am actually putting this on hair, so, because I have a lot of blonde hair on my arms, so. But I think that will still look nice on the eyes. And let's see, eyeliners. I have my Marinus Cat Eye Eyeliner from my Project Pan. I have a new purchase, which I put over it. It is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper that I'm in love with. Thus is why to you to be able to get to use it, I'm putting it over another eyeliner. I got this in my Walmart beauty box. It is the NYC Big Big and Bold eyeliner, and this isn't bad. But the one thing I will say about it, the tip, it's a little on the hard side, but the liner is pretty black. And usually the trooper, I don't have to set. This I do have to set. That is the difference between them. Let's see. I have a brown eyeliner in the Physician's Formula Eye Definer in Black Raisin. That is it right there. It's definitely more of a purpley brown than a straight brown, but whatever. I do also have my two Marcel eyeliners from my Birch Box last month. This one is in, why can't I remember these names? 
This one is in Mulberry. So just a deep purple. I have actually sharpened this one once because that's how much I use it. And this one is in Electric Blue. I do really like these eyeliners. I think they're awesome. And of course, I have my Makeup Forever uh, green eyeliner in 12C that is in my Finish 5 by Fall. Got my three mascaras. I have my CoverGirl the Super Sizer that now that I've figured out how to put it on properly, I do really enjoy. I have my Well People Expressionist Mascara that is on its very last legs. And I also have my Benefit There Real that is technically in my project pan because I finished my YSL mascara like a week into it. Let's see, I think I've only got lips left. Let's see, I did just get this in my Ipsy bag. This is the Be A Bombshell Lip Balm in, I don't remember. Oh wait, I have the box right here. Ruby. Hmm. This is it right here. Looks a lot like Cheery Me in the Maybelline Baby Lips. I do have another lip balm in here that I keep all the time. It is the Jane Iredale Just Kissed a Leap in Lip and Cheek Stain. It's one of those that you put on, looks mostly clear, and then it, when it warms up to your body chemistry, temperature, whatever, it changes into a fairly bright pink. I do really like this, but e.l.f. just put out one. So when I finish this, I'm probably gonna buy the e.l.f. one. I'll try it out, because I've heard good things about it. Whew, I have three lip liners, and I don't even really like lip liners, so that sucks. I have this that's in my project pan. It is the Makeup Forever lip liner in 3C, I think. I like their eyeliners. I don't like their lip liners, but the way I've been using this up is to kind of contour the outside of my lips to give a little bit of a gradient going on. So that's been helping me use it up. I have my Urban Decay lip liner in Ozone. It's the clear one. That is in my Finish 12 by Xmas. And I have my Jordana Easy Liner and Sedona Red that is in my Finish 5 by Fall. I have a lot of projects going on. Let's see, I have two lip glosses. Three lip glosses, I suck. I have my NYX Butter Gloss in Apple Strudel. 12 Inkies of Christmas. I have my Buxom Lip Gloss in Dolly, which I am using right now. Project Pan. And I have my ELF Hyper Shine Lip Gloss in Berry Cherry, 12 Inch Piece of Christmas. And once I used up this one in Dolly, I'm actually going to be using that e.l.f. one a lot more often. It just, a lot of things live in my makeup stash to use at a later date. Cause right now I'm really only focusing on two lip colors. What well, this is one of them. It is the color Maybelline Color Whisper in Papa Peony. It is in my 12 Inch Piece of Christmas because I'm obsessed with peach look, peach things right now. The other one I'm really focusing on is my Urban Decay Mini of Lady Flower that I will not show you the progress of because that would be cheating, but I will show you a little swatch on my hand. I really do love this color and they put it in the sheer formula, but I wish they would put it out in the regular formula or I wish they had put it out in the matte formula because that would be gorgeous. And let's see, I have my MAC lipstick and plumful in here but it's a little too dark for right now or dark for what I'm feeling and in the same vein here is my rebel lip butter and sugar plum they're both in my 12 inches of Christmas and I wish I had thought a little more ahead of what I put in there because these are both very fall colors to me and right now we're in summer that's why I added the other two and for my birch box this month which I had to pull a video because I was my eye has been messed up for the last couple of days, so I've been kind of out of it. I, when I edited the video, I put the second half of the Birch Box video and then my Project Pan video together and uploaded that as my Birch Box video. No. This is why I should not be allowed to do things. But I re edited the Birch Box video. I think it'll be going up tonight on Sunday. And then this will be going up probably Monday. And then my Finish 5 by Fall will be going up on Tuesday. A day late, but what can you do? Anyways. Here is my Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick that I got in my birch box. It is in the color Bella. 
I do really like it, but it's definitely a summer only color because it is super bright on me. Let's see. I did throw my perfume in here that I also got from Ipsy. It is the Jorel Parker perfume and I think it's called Classico. Yep, it is. My Ipsy bag is still up on the computer screen. I do think this smells really nice. It's like this berry and floral mixture that I really like. Uh, my setting spray is the same as always. It is the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous. It is almost empty and I do have a replacement, but until then. I just realized I didn't tell you what primers I was using. Not that there are any shock. One's in 5x Fall, one's in my Project Pan. I have the Benefit Professional in my Project Pan. And I have the Physician's Formula Talc-Free Mineral Wear Correcting Primer that you cannot see through. I hate these products. In my Finish 5 by Fall. And finally, I do keep makeup wipes in here. If you are curious, the brand that I'm using right now is the Garnier Clean Soothing Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. They are really nice to remove makeup and to fix mistakes. Anyways, that is it. I think I have gone over everything that is in my makeup container. And hopefully I will see you guys later. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Bye.